What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. A long weekend for me. Four days off. Kind of flew by between Thanksgiving. Uh, running around getting stuff done Friday. Putting up the tree. To Yesterday, went to a card show in Louisville. And there was actually two shows in my area. One was in Louisville. One was in Lexington. I decided to hit up uh, Louisville uh, first and actually texted a friend of mine because he was setting up at Lexington which is a little bit longer of a drive, and he said it. there wasn't a whole lot there for dealer-wise. And I was like, all right, well, I appreciate, you know, type deal, because it would have been an hour drive there, then to the show, walk around, and an hour and a half home. So, you know, a lot of times you, you got to know people with shows, ask them, what do you guys think? It's a long drive for me. Is it really going to be a lot of people there for me to look around and stuff like that? But the Louisville show, it was probably – I'm going to say maybe 50% of the tables were uh, sold roughly because I saw a lot of blanks and you'll see before the video starts, the music will still play and everything. Two pictures I took um, right into 502 Frank. Uh, I'm trying to think of anybody else you guys might know on there from YouTube. I think I might've been the only other person you guys might know, but um, you know, there was a lot of nice cards there. I can tell you one, I think, Having a card show the Saturday after Thanksgiving is always going to be hard. I don't care if you have three or four shows going on the same day. A lot of people are out of town. Some people still have family members in. And, you know, it's just hard for them to break away uh, from that. So, overall, um, you know, with what was there, it was pretty good. A lot of the same dealers, same cards type deal. Uh that's why I didn't do a whole lot of video of this stuff because you guys have been seeing the same exact cards over and over again. A few new dealers, which I did get some uh, footage of. And then uh, I'll talk about these stacks here that I picked up. I know a lot of cards it looks like, and I'll explain into that. But let me go ahead, cut to the video, and then uh, I'll be right back, everybody.
All right, what's up, what's up, we're back. So, I didn't really purchase a lot. My intent really wasn't to go there to purchase anything unless it really caught my eye. There was uh, a couple guys together in one area, and they bought out a collection, and they were, I guess, I don't know, maybe their wives, girlfriends were telling them, you better start selling some of this stuff or whatever. But, I mean, it was like basically you go through, find what you want, they'll give you a price type deal. And I started skimming through some boxes, picked out this stuff here. And he goes, hey, I got a, uh, it was just like one of them uh, 500 or 800 count boxes of basketball. And I'll throw it in for, you know, it was cheap, guys. Very, very cheap. Um, and I said, what the heck, I'll take the gamble on to it. So last night went through it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff into it. And I mean, I could probably make some lots up of like Marcus Camby and stuff. But there were some decent cards. So. What I did find, these were actually in screw-down holders. And, I mean, not bad overall. Oops, sorry, sorry. Let me get the camera down just a tad here for my, my viewing pleasure. I think that's not on the card there. Nope, it's inside the sleeve. We're going to change that out because I don't like that. There we go. Chipper Jones, uh, SP, Premier Prospect. Really nice card, a little issue up here. I mean, if you wipe to clean this down, you might get an 8 or a 9 out of it. I mean, just by me just, you know, looking at it real quick. Now, a lot of this stuff you guys are going to see for the uh, Fantasy uh, or the Gridiron Pickums. Patrick Ewing Beam Team, real nice. This is not the member's choice. These are the ones that came out of the pack. Because remember, the member's choice had their stuff on to it. So pretty cool find a beam team. Griffey Stadium Club. Another one, you know, you, you wipe it down pretty good to get all that old stuff off it. Because these were in like yellow top loaders. What's this? It was 94. Not fun. Oh, there it is. 94. Yep. Crowded Glory. Ken Griffey Jr. A lot of you guys might remember this card if you're a little bit older. On the back had McGuire, CG3. This was 98, I want to say. I don't know where I put my... Oh, there it is up here. My eyes are bad today from looking at stuff. Yep, 98, upper deck. Pretty cool little insert. Let me get focus back. There we go. Garnett, SPX rookie. Get it? You'd have to really wipe this down. There is a mark somewhere on this. It's not in the case. I think it would be two. I mean, it wouldn't ten, but it's still nice if you're a Garnett collector to have something like that. And the last one I found a '92 Tops All Stars gold uh, Van Slyke and Griffey. Now that was what was he had in like screw down cases, and I took a gamble on. And I mean, <laughs> lucky the screw downs they were tight. But they were the ones that had the indentions into it. So, you know, I took a gamble. I mean, like I said, it was very, very cheap for all this. So when I went through the box, I mean, you might see some of this stuff eventually in auctions and stuff like that. But I'll go through this. We got some older cards first. Billy Paltz. George Gerben. They had a little issue in the corner, but still really nice. I just had to get this stuff put into some loaders. Elvin Hayes. Second team all-star for the Bullets. Now, it has a big crease right there into it, I saw. Um, just some older stuff here. Bob Lanier. That has a crease there, there, all through here. But just nice cards, I mean, to have. Marquise Johnson, just older stuff. Um, a bunch of Carl Malone stuff. And I'll probably use this whenever we start the auction thing back up in January. Because I think there's a couple people like Carl Malone stuff. Toss Prestine. Flair Showcase. Passion. Uh, that's the EX. We got one, two, three, four of the fan animations. Flair Showcase again. On the block, two of them. Triple Threats. Uh, what's that? The Power One from Ultra. All right. Found a couple shacks in there. Focus back. An upper deck with the Lakers on it. 
on the block. Oh, don't know this one. Skybox and SP. All right. A whole ton of Garnets. Again, if you're somebody that likes Kevin Garnett, it'll probably eventually be into something. Like for the auction nights, just as one big lot, tradition. Oh, another one of them. I know there were two. Huh, another tradition, too. I was trying to sort through this stuff originally. This is kind of cool, the nameplates. That's all the Garnets. Dwight Howard. They call this the Phil Jackson <laughs> coach rookie card or something like that. I don't know. I just know they were selling a while ago. Chris Weber, if you guys remember four sports, one of 20,000 draft star. Yao Ming, I believe this is from his rookie year. I, I haven't had a chance to look it up. I was trying to remember if it was 02, 03 or not. Pretty cool, though. Grant Hill rookie. Stackhouse. Mawberry. These are all tops. Finest. There's one, two, three, four of them. Morning Ultra Rookie. Metalized Hardaway. Um, Fleer Metal. Fresh Foundation. Ray Allen. David Robinson. Hologram. Highway 99. Robinson. Rodman. Barkley on the block. Morning on the block. Larry Johnson on the block. Um, Antonio Walker. Ultra Rookie, Jason Kidd, Grant Hill, Stackhouse. There's another Rodman. Uh, Pippin SP. This is the die cut. Need to focus back. Really cool looking card. I like the die cuts from back then. <laughs> Everybody remember Sh uh, Sharif Abdul Rahim? Rookie. These old hardwoods. This is Price and uh, Dominic Wilkins. Clyde Drexler. Oh, I forget what these are from. It might just be a regular set. I got to look this one up too. Ming, Williams, Dunlevy. I don't think these are rookies. Now, if you guys remember these things here where they had the little net that came over, that's pipping over there in the back. So kind of cool stuff that I found in there. Like I said, nothing crazy. Um... You know, just even if you went to a show and you saw, I sold these at like 50 cents to a dollar a piece, I made my money over my money back for what I paid into all of this. But sometimes, you know, you get bored, you want to take a gamble on something. And, you know, sometimes it pays off really huge. Sometimes, you know, you don't get nothing. Sometimes, you know, it, it takes a lot of work to move that stuff. A lot of people stay away from it. They pick it up. Then what they want to do is break into smaller lots to sell off to people. And I mean, I was like, hey, I'll try it, see what happens, you know. It, it had very, very little risk on it. I mean, literally, I probably would have got, for all that, I think, not. I could have, well, it was cheaper than a full tank of gas for me. <laughs> so, and we're like 280 a gallon now, 285, something like that. But uh, pretty cool overall, just to go through stuff. You find stuff you remember when you were a kid and stuff having. So, yeah, like I said, it was a decent show for the size of the uh, dealers there. Uh, a lot of the same people, the same exact cards. And that's the one thing why I don't set up at uh, all the local shows every month or bi-weekly. Because you have the same cards. Unless you have new people coming to buy or that player turns out hot all of a sudden. You're just going to, people are just going to be like, ah, oh, same stuff. Still got this, huh? Yep. I mean, it's like how the conversations go and stuff all the time. But, uh... There's a show next weekend up in Louisville, a different location, held by the same people. Myself and uh, my buddy Steve's going to end up going to it, take a walk around, see maybe there's some new dealers. Then there's another show back at this same location I was at this Saturday on the 11th. But I'm going to start being a little bit more cautious with this new variant of COVID out there. I mean, I don't know. You know, some people, they're saying Pfizer, you got, it's no good for the new variant and all this stuff. I, I got Moderna, but... I don't know. I'm going to start looking and being a little more cautious with stuff, so we'll see how the shows go. But uh, other than that, everybody, have a good week out there. Um, I know we, I 
doing this on a Sunday. So hopefully you guys do well on Gridiron. Either this weekend or next weekend, I'm going to post the uh, who have the winner take all card or cards or item. I haven't really gone which way yet. I got a couple different ways I was thinking. I might even let the winner choose. Um, we'll see how that goes offhand. And that's really about it, everybody. Uh, be careful. I've seen there's a lot of new uh, PSA fake slabs out there. Very, very <laughs> good. To even the cards are fake, the slab is fake, and uh, what I was told at the show, a guy had one, and I don't have a PSA slab in front of me anywhere, do I? No. So if this was a PSA slab, basically there's two ways to tell. And one, the barcode is a little bit thicker onto it. The other is if you feel it, it's more smooth. And then I was told if you it's not sonic welded, so if you just like push down on the sides like that, you'll hear it cracking a whole heck of a lot. And just to be careful of that stuff out there. Um, I do know past probably about a month or so, the Tom Brady Bowman Chrome rookies, I believe it's the Chromes, are now being faked more to where they have actually added Chrome into the word Bowman and down below and everything. So just be careful what you guys are buying out there. I have seen a lot of new uh, fake Jordans coming around that are getting a lot better than what they were in the past too. And with these new slides that people are making for PSA, just be very careful. I mean, they might even have a real PSA label in to where they're cracking that Jordan rookie out Putting in these uh, slabs you can buy off of Etsy, and some of them sell them on eBay, the blank ones that look close and similar to PSA, and they're popping that stuff in there. So what you're looking at the label, it's good, but the card itself is still fake. So like I said, always buy the card, don't buy the company, but double check both of them. It's getting pretty bad with the bigger stuff out there. But all right, enough of me babbling on for today, guys. You guys have a good rest of the week, and I will catch you all next video.